Hi, your turn, Mr. Oakley here. I'm just going to give you a short video to try and ease some of your anxieties when you come back in either from Monday or from Wednesday. By now, you should know what groups you are coming in. So whether you're in um, groups one to four, I think it is, you're in on Monday and Tuesday. If you're in groups five and above, then you'll be in on Wednesday. First of all, key bit of information, you are starting school at 8.30, which means that you cannot be in the school grounds any earlier than 8.15. Okay, you will not be able to come in, so please make sure you get in between 8.15 and 8.30 so we can minimalize the risk of spreading any germs. What I'm gonna show you is where you will be going and a few different hand wash stations to tell you what you need to do at a certain point. Um, hopefully this will ease any anxieties you may have and hopefully will minimize all risks associated. Get into school, the first thing you'll be doing is you'll be directed by a member of SLT to your classrooms. Before you go in anywhere, you need to make sure you wash your hands at one of our hand washing stations. We've got them at every student entrance, so whether it's this one here, by the canteen, outside maths, outside in the quad, and also by English. I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how to use one of these wash stations so that it's crystal clear. And it's very important, don't drink this water. This is not drinking water, you must bring in your own. Um, when you use it, these taps, they stay on. So make sure you get your gel on and then wash it for the duration of the time that the tap is on for. It might seem quite a long time and it's designed that way so that we can minimize the risk of our germs. Once you've done that, obviously you get some tissue that'll be outside, dry your hands and then of course put it in the bin. If you have to go inside one of the buildings, there is also an antiviral sanitizer directly inside. Please make sure you use that. As a bit of a side note, it is antiviral, so therefore it is slightly stronger than your normal hand sanitizers. So if you have got any cuts or um, any scratches on your hand, it might cause a little bit of irritation. Should you wish to bring your own hand sanitizer, you are absolutely allowed to, but please make sure that only you and you only use that hand sanitizer. So, as I said, as you come in at any entrance, you need to be aware that you might be touching some surfaces like the door handles. These will be getting cleaned throughout the day, but just to make sure we minimise any risk, as soon as you have touched a door handle, you need to make sure you use one of our antiviral hand sanitizers. Simply push in, one big squeeze, it does bring out quite a lot, but uh, make sure you obviously thoroughly wash it until it is all gone. Uh, this is slightly stronger than normal hand sanitizer, as I previously said, so do be aware of this. But if you do want to bring your own one in, then you are, just make sure you only use it. Um, I will then show you through, we're going to be located in four different areas. So some of you might be in science, some of you might be in maths, some in English, and some will be located in business. So if you come with me, I'll take you to a maths classroom where you can see what life will be like in the classroom. Okay, so I'm outside the maths here. One thing to notice about the maths block, this is now operating a one-way system. So you can only come through this entrance and you can only go out the other end. If you come with me, I'll show you what one of the classrooms is typically going to look like. And I'm gonna be honest, this is not the norm. So when you come in, you'll be coming in obviously one by one, keeping your distance, and your names are already on the desks for you and your teachers will be able to guide you to where they are. So for example, when you come in, you will notice this is what the typical classroom is now going to look like. If I set the example of this chair here, the tape is situated so where you are positioned. So you are not supposed to be sitting this side of the tape or the other side because that will put you too close to someone else where we're trying to minimise risk. You'll notice on the desk there are exercise books, there are calculators, there will also be equipment there for you, which means you do not need to bring any of that stuff in with you, okay? So everything you need will be here for you. You will then be staying in the same seat for the duration of time that you are coming in. We have said that you can bring in some snacks that you can have uh, periodically throughout the day, typically at the end of a period. So make sure you do bring those in, but obviously make sure you only have them for yourself and you are not sharing any food with anyone else. So one frequently asked question that we've got is all about the role about face masks. I need to be really clear on this so that there's no confusion at all. The government have said that we are not allowed, the DfE have said that we're not allowed to have face masks in school because it could cause unnecessary risk. Some of you might think that you have to get public transport to, to get to school and the government have said via public transport you must wear a face mask. So if you are someone who has to wear a face mask on a public bus, 
before you enter school, you must put that face mask in your bag or in your pocket and it must remain in there for the duration whilst you're in school. Once you leave school, you will then be allowed to put it back on, but whilst you are in school, we are not a, we're not allowed to have any face masks on, so we are minimalizing risk of spreading germs. Okay, so as I've said as well, some of the classrooms might have an external door. If they do, you will be required to enter via the external door, like this one here in sight. So you will come in the external door, and as always, you will sanitize straight away when you get in the classroom. As you can see, very similar to the other classrooms, they're all the same, books out on the desk, names there in place. Whilst I know I've given you a lot of information here that might seem worrying, I want you to know that we've put an awful lot of work in here to make sure that you are safe and so that you can then learn in an effective manner. We, we're really looking forward to having you back and that's why we've gone through this much effort. So please, when you do come in, don't have any worries. Just make sure that you're excited to learn as well because you are going to get some really valuable face-to-face -face time with three different teachers on both days that you're in. And that is something that a lot of other schools might be able to offer at the moment, but we're going to make sure that you get the best opportunity to catch up on anything that you might have missed and also make sure that you, you know what you're doing and that you're safe pushing towards our GCSEs. I can't wait to see you all. I hope you're looking the same, uh, looking forward to the same. And if you aren't sure about anything, please make sure you go onto our website because we've got the full reopening plan on our website for you to see. If not there, if you want to message me, just make sure you drop me an email and I'll cover any concerns. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.